This, ladies and gentlemen, is a catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner from Romford, Alan Sargent. His opponent on my right and in the blue corner from Sydenham, Robbie Barron. So Robbie Barron from Sydenham against Alan Sargent from Romford. And Sargent, there he is, the uh, black trunks with the stripes down the side there. Very much the shorter of the two, but the former British World Away title holder. Round one. Six five-minute rounds. Six rounds, one fall decides this bout, and this should be real good light, r light men wrestling that so many people like. We've had some curious uh, style so far in this program this afternoon. Maxine Lepac was a brawl. Marino couldn't really wrestle against Easley's tactics, but now Sergeant versus Baron should be. <laughs> and I. Uh, stuck my neck out like this before and been wrong, but it should be a pretty clean and very, very good wrestling bout. I don't think that uh, Max Ward will have too much trouble with this one. Look at that way out of a backhand wow. to a side hand. Oh, beautiful stuff. Beautiful done. So, I that for a quick ankle grab. The toe hold on to Robbie Barron. And Sergeant figuring a way to counter it. Sergeant lying flat on his face there in the black trunks. Probably the most supple body in wrestling today. Quite incredible what happens to his body in a wrestling ring, and it still doesn't seem to worry him. If we see Robbie Barron sometime during this bout getting Sergeant into a full Boston crowd, you'll see what I mean. Double knee, but a little bit early for that, and two near the ropes anyway. So Sergeant attacking this time. Step over, toe hold. <laughs> Still got that barren leg. But Barron's got three limbs spare. <laughs> just a quick reminder there from Sergeant, that back elbow, not a very hard one, just don't get too near, but you know, uh, do it properly. But it's not the way that, that these fellas really like to wrestle the back elbow stuff, although it's legal. One, One full bout, remember. One mis further mistake like that by Baron can be in trouble. There's the bridge to Sergeant bringing his man up in a Boston crab. Sergeant hoping that maybe a submission as early as round one. I've had the doubt it. Still a couple of minutes to go in this first. Nicely out, Baron. Reaching for the double leg Nelson, but Baron won't go. Yes, he has to go with a second time. And as so often happens in wrestling, the leg chop to the ears comes as a saber to the double leg Nelson. No. Come on. No, sir. Come on. Robbie. Relax. Uh, 
Lady Spread won't worry a man like Sargent too much, even if Bobby Barron gets it properly. Just by the use of his legs, but unfortunately for Sargent, both of them went. Last 30 seconds. Rush. Cross from Baron. The bridge again, Sergeant. Yeah. You have to be quick now, a couple of seconds only. Alan Sargent, the ex-British welterweight champion. I see this man, maybe at some big hole like the Albert Hall or maybe the Nottingham Ice Rink, get another chance at that welterweight title. He's still kept to 11 stone 11, which is right on the upper limit of the welterweight bracket, and he's still 100% fit. And I'd like to see him get a great chance at this title, of course, held by Vic Faulkner at the moment. Away and round two. Round two, five rounds to go. One fall decides it. Baron in the light trunks. This is Alan Sargent.
and we can find out if you have a claim. Call Just Refunds on 0800 822 3635. See you, Billy? Yes, see you then. You know, is a valuable commodity, and these days, it's in very short supply. But when it comes to personal injury claims, there is a name you can rely on. Injury Lawyers for You has become a household name, helping people all over the country for nearly a decade. So if you've been injured and it wasn't your fault... If you're looking for the compensation you deserve, and if you need a team you can trust... Call Injury Lawyers for You. Very happy indeed for the bell to go then, I'll bet. Robbie Barron from Sydenham. Four and a half years amateur experience before turning pro in the early 60s at the age of 16. His ambition has always been the middleweight title, but he's going a bit high on weight for that now. He'll have to train right down for the middleweight, which is 12 stone 8 maximum. Seconds away and round three. And four rounds to go at the start of this third round. Baron versus Sergeant. Sergeant Black Trunks is back to us. Is he going for those feet again? If he can do that again, he surely, with a whole round ahead of him, five minutes, must have a chance to something. <laughs> Really great moves by Baron that time. It's the second time Baron's tried that, the single finger with a lot of switchings fast to the middle and into the body scissors. No, no. No, no. no. Sergeant not saying no because he is really in tremendous pain there. It's because the referee keeps asking if he wants to submit and making sure that the referee says no, please. No intention of submitting, friends. Nice move by Robbie Barron. Not quite the room. Come on, come on, come on then. No. <laughs> Sergeant, from that position, in the body is is trying for a submission with that elbow on the knee. Ah. <laughs> Sergeant trying the headlock and strangle from up there. Successfully. Again, Bobby Barron with a chance of a submission until that, but the body scissors returns. No, 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 and these two men agree to a double interlock like they did then. Oh. It's just going to say that uh, a taller man should have the advantage, but uh, he did it in another way. Back to the body scissors. He's down. No. One. One. Love it. No. No, sir. Sergeant again trying to get a Boston from this Boston crab. Yeah, he's down, he's down. I don't think he can turn him. One, no. Come on. One, no. One, no. Two. 
Inside of the forearms, on the ears, enough to make anybody release. Byron going in now for that single leg Boston possibility. No, 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 no. Doesn't want it. Folded leg. Trying the same si trick that Sergeant tried on him. He hasn't got long, 20 seconds or so. He's got the arms, now the back end of the surfboard. He's got 12 seconds to do it in. There it is. The back breaker, though, won't worry Sergeant like it worried Baron. On the bell now, anyway. Sergeant looking up as if to say he's a little bit glad that the bell went then too. Curiously enough, both these men have tried that same surfboard move. I've got it on successfully, especially um, Baron then on Sergeant, and the bell has intervened to save a possible submission. There's three rounds to go, and we still no sign of a Boston Crab on Sergeant. Seconds away, and round four. I'm sure everybody who knows Alan Sargent would love to see him escape from a Boston crowd here by Barron. But Barron's got to get it on first, which is not so easy. Three rounds to go, one fall to the side. Sargent with the black trunks there and the light stripes down the side. Outside step over toe hole, and this time Sargent's got the bar through. His own left hand through as well. But it's the right leg that turns the bar. <laughs> it's your hand. You. Yes, if, if Sergeant hadn't. Had managed to get his hand out before this move, it would have been great advantage to him. I think he's going to have to release, yes. Neither of them can get anywhere because of that left hand of Sergeant through. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Sergeant's second chance. Let's jump step over to so hold that he tried, but very quickly out by Baron. Baron Lucas, crutch hold there, the lift from it. Normal shoulder press attempt, they're not good enough to worry Baron even at this stage. <laughs> and the reverse double knee attempt, but missed it by a long way, Sergeant, as he went over there. He's back in the body scissors. <laughs> Being warned to leave those black trunks at home. Um, right on top, over the top for reverse double leg Nelson, but missed it with the left foot, missed with the left foot by a long way, Sergeant. And now double leg Nelson reversed by, by Baron, and he's got those arms fake taped, and it's there. Baron has done it. With an excellent move, too, on the more experienced Sergeant. An excellent effort in round four. Baron the winner by the one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the one four required for victory to Robbie Barron. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a very big hand please for Alan Sargent.
Thank you, Mike Judd. And thank you, Alan Sargent and Robbie Barron, for a great wrestling bout. Rather surprisingly, won by Robbie Barron, but I would have lost my money anyway. And we hope you've enjoyed it. With that, it's goodbye from all of us here. Have a good week.